Last year, I worked Uber every day during the week of Thanksgiving and ended up earning $28 an hour after expenses. And I wanted to see how that rate held up this year to get a good idea of what an Uber driver might earn in 2024. And in the name of good research, I thought it would only be right to do it again during the week of Thanksgiving. That's what you call a controlled variable. And I have to be honest with you, I was incredibly surprised at the results. Anyone who has been driving Uber for a while knows that year over year there has been a constant decline in earnings. So I was fully expecting for the working man to continue to get stiffed as the international corporation makes bank because that's the American way, baby. Sorry, you can disregard that. I've been reading this book and my cynicism is at an all-time high. But the point is, much to my surprise, the hourly rate this year was actually considerably higher than it was in years past. Some of the reason for that is luck and some of it is skill, but I I'll get to that later. I'm going to break down my earnings into three segments. The weekday morning commute, blackout Wednesday, and then the weekend. And then I'll give you the total I earned for the whole week, minus what I spent on gas for the entire week. And then I'll compare that total to how much I earned the last two times that I did this project. Now, before I get into the actual numbers for anyone thinking about becoming an Uber driver, I need to give you a warning. The same warning I've given in the past. This is the most important thing I'm going to say to you. Do not drive Uber full time. As in you can't look at it as a reliable source of income over the long term. It's a great form of temporary pay and that holds true today. So let me reiterate, do not make this a full time job. And if you do, make sure you have an immediate backup plan. I always get full time drivers who get all fired up in the comments when I say this. And honestly, I hope the best for them because it's not fun to learn the hard way why I give this advice. It just takes one one rider to make up a lie and you get deactivated for no reason. Do you want me to wait for the police? I can wait for the police. It's okay, whatever you want to do. All right. Don't hit me! Don't hit me! He's trying to hit me with a car! or God forbid you get sick or you get hurt and Uber doesn't come with sick days or disability. Personally, I think it's a great part-time gig, especially if you like driving and meeting people. It's something that can be enjoyable and you make money while doing it. Any plans for Thanksgiving? My whole family, dude, we dress up as Indians and pilgrims and we build the Mayflower, dude, and Plymouth Rock and everything. We get a tent, a heated tent out back of my Uncle Mo's house and we literally have the Pilgrim and Indians Thanksgiving. Seriously? I swear, yeah. Everyone dresses up. You're either Pilgrim or an Indian. What, what are you usually? I'm the goddamn chief. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's a great way to save up for something or work towards something on your own schedule. For those of you who have been following along for a minute, you know I'm driving Uber to get myself an entire Bitcoin. Unfortunately, not only did I have to sell some of the Bitcoin I was saving in order to publish my book, this guy, but in true Eddie Mush fashion, I was forced to sell low after buying high. But hey, losses make wins that much sweeter, right? All right, so for the first portion of the week of Thanksgiving, I worked a little less than four and a half hours during the morning commute on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday and earned a total of $92, working out to be a little more than $21 an hour, and that's before expenses. In particular, I want to bring your attention to Tuesday where I got $11 in tips. Had I not, it would have been a brutal morning. Ironically enough, the same thing happened on Tuesday last year, and it gives validity to the theory that when rides are super cheap, riders are more likely to tip. And when rides are super expensive, riders won't. I mean, it's not rocket science, right? When something's more expensive, you're just not going to spend more money on it. So as you see on the left, on Tuesday, I got $11 on four trips, where three out of my four riders tipped me. While on the right, on Wednesday, I gave almost seven times the amount of rides, but didn't even get twice as much as tips. And I'm not saying that I expect anybody to tip drivers, so you haters can go ahead and delete that comment you had written out that most likely had the terms entitled and lazy and get a real job. I'm actually saying the opposite. I don't expect tips and I would encourage anybody going into this gig to not operate taking tips from riders or promotions from Uber into account because they're very unreliable. As for Wednesday, the drunkest day of the year, I was actually able to get out a little earlier this year and stayed out a little later and I thought that was going to dilute my earnings as most of the surge rides are concentrated to the times where people go out to the bars and 
when the bars closed. But that was not the case at all. I earned $48 an hour this year, and that was actually $5 an hour more than it was last year. And look, I don't want this to sound like a commercial for Uber because I got a whole channel full of reasons why you shouldn't drive Uber. Are you okay? Are you gonna throw up? Oh. Open the door. There you go. Oh, 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 But man, $50 an hour for a side hustle when you can sit in your car, listen to music, work when you want. I'm telling you, even after I get my full Bitcoin on nights like this, I still see myself get my Uber on. I ended up hitting my promo on Wednesday, which was an extra $30 for 30 rides. In the past, people have always given me flack in the comments when I say that you shouldn't count on promotional money. I hate to say I told you so because it means less money for me, but... I told you so. A year ago, they were giving me $55. And a year and a half ago, $150 for the same amount of rides. And to prove my point even further, let's look at the offer they gave me for the second half of the week. Check it out. You're looking at it. Zero. Zilch. Nada. Nothing. Only to follow up the week after with an offer so low that honestly, I felt disrespected. 30 trips to get an extra $15. I think I'd prefer them to offer me nothing than to give me this crap. For the third and final segment of the week, Friday was super busy, but Saturday was unusually slow. And even though I was a little salty on that Saturday, I'm glad I could show the differences in earnings between these two days, or the weekday commute versus blackout Wednesday, just to demonstrate how timing is absolutely everything with this gig if you want to maximize your hourly wages. That said, I think this would be a good opportunity to remind everybody that when you are driving Uber, you're your own boss. So on a slow night, when you have a rider waiting for you at a hotel bar but you want to see the end of the iron bowl because you may or may not have had alabama as the last leg of a five-team parlay you can pull over and watch it sure it might have affect my rating and maybe i missed out on a couple dollars of a tip but watching your bet hit on a fourth and goal from the 31 priceless also i hate the fact that i bet on alabama too so don't judge me for it wow all that's to say the good thing about uber is that there's no pressure you can work when you want and how you want if i wasn't doing this project on a slow night like that saturday i wouldn't have stayed out till 3 a.m for the sake of research and just called it quits and got myself some sleep but i did it for you so go ahead and hit that like button sunday actually turned out really well especially compared to last year of course there were people traveling home from the holiday but there was also an eagles game and it started pouring when the Eagles let out and holy smokes the rates were insane I ended up making almost $37 an hour and it would have been even more if it wasn't for my crazy cousin who got stranded in South Philly under an overpass and guilted me into driving him home yo bro you're you're under the bridge yeah. all right sounds good I'll be there in about six minutes I'm in a black Honda all right you'll see Crap. All right. I don't know if he watches these videos, but if he does, Tim, the next time we're out, you owe me a bourbon, a scotch, and a beer. And I'll pass on the bourbon and scotch. One Bud Light is all I need. Don't tell my homeless friend. No, 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 no. You don't want a beer? Do I want a cup Bud Light? So in total, for the entire week, I earned $1,037.67 on 81 trips. After I take away the $82.08 I spent on gas, my hourly rate was $32.08. 76 cents. Now, how does that compare to years prior? Last year, during the week of Thanksgiving, after expenses, I took away almost $28 an hour. And in March of 2022, I cleared over $30 an hour. It begs the question, why such a difference? And I guarantee you the answer is not because Uber is feeling more generous as of late. They certainly have not increased their fares, and if anything, I think they shaved off a couple cents per mile. So the bump in earnings has to do with a bit of luck and a bit of skill for lack of a better term the luck aspect being in the right place and right time when the surge hit which partly has to do with skill but i was especially lucky of the fact that it rained on wednesday and friday and sunday which means not only will more people call an uber instead of walking but it also means that less drivers are willing to go out and drive uber in the rain because it was pretty nasty out now as far as the skill aspect i'm going to put a whole video together on how you can earn more as an uber driver so make sure to subscribe but in short uber is now 
now allowing drivers to see how much they're going to make before a trip and how long that trip is going to take. That option was brand new, at least in the Philly market, when I did this project last year. And now, a year later, I'm a lot more experienced in using that feature and knowing what rides to pick and when in order to get the most bang for my buck. When that video is up, I'll be sure to put it here. And in the meantime, click this video if you want to learn more about the other things that go along with being a gig worker, like wear and tear on the car, taxes, insurance, things like that.